Well, hello, Math Maniacs. Today, we're here to talk to you some more about multiplication. Hopefully, you already had a chance to watch Sylvia's introduction to multiplication video, where she was uh, helping you explore what multiplication is in terms of being equal groups of. Today's is kind of a follow-up lesson where we're going to be exploring um, arrays, multiplication as arrays. Now, if an array is a new word for you, we just wanted to define it for you. An array is a set of objects that show equal groups in rows and columns. Okay, so if you look at this diagram here that Ashley drew for us, you can see that we have three rows. We have one, two, three, and in each row we have one, two, three, four. So this array is actually representing the multiplication sentence of three times four, and we can count the total number of triangles to figure out what the answer for three times four is. All right, another way you can show it is here, all right, where we're showing that there are, you can see she circled the groups this time, so it's easier for us to see it's one, two, three, four rows, and in each row we have one, two, three, four, five, six circles. So that represents the multiplication sentence of four times six. And remembering uh, that the multiplication sign means equal groups of. So that being said, although the word array might be new for you, you've probably seen many examples of arrays in real life. In fact, I want you to stop and think about where you may have seen some. Okay, so here we've got some examples. Chocolate bars. Depending on the kind of chocolate bar you buy, many of them are packaged in arrays. And we actually have a problem that we need your help solving in a little bit with that, okay? What about Lego? Okay, here um, we've got, uh, if you look at the little dots on the Lego pieces, okay, we've got one, two, three, four, times one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be representing four times six. And you could count all the little dots to figure out the answer for that. Or perhaps you've seen artwork display in rows and columns, uh, and equal groups of rows and columns, which make it an array as well. All right, so here, what we're going to do first is, as you can see, I went to the store, I stocked up on some different chocolate bars, and what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at these to figure out what the multiplication sentence for these is. All right, so we've got here one, two, three rows, and in each row there's one, two, three pieces. So this would be an array for three times three, and let's quickly count. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to count by threes to figure out the answer. So three, six, nine. So three times three, th or three equal groups of three equals nine. What about this one? Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and look, there's only one in each one. So this would be a seven times one array. And I remember that any number times one is always the same number. So seven times one is seven. This one is a little bit tricky. You might be wondering to yourself, what is this one? Well, there's only one row and one piece in it. This is actually an array for one times one, and that would equal one. Okay, up here with the caramel, you can see we've got one, two, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that would be two times five. And I'm just going to pause for a minute and see if you can figure out what two times five is. All right, maybe some of you were thinking five plus five and you thought 10. Maybe some of you skipped count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10. Or maybe you had a different strategy. Whatever you did, that's okay. The answer is 10. All right, well, look at two more examples and I'll tell you what your job is for us. All right, here we've got, once again, another two. And then by one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a two by six array representing two times six or two equal groups of six. Once again, you might be thinking six plus six is 12, or perhaps you skip count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, to find the product, which is the answer when you multiply. All right, final two. I don't know about you, are you getting hungry? I'm getting hungry looking at this. All right, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five times one, two. So this is a five times two array, which will equal two, four, six, eight, 10. And finally, last but not least, we only have one long row, but there's one, two, three, four pieces in each row for a one by four array. All right, so now that we've probably made you hungry and thinking of chopping, we actually have a task for you to do. What we'd like you to do, um, we're gonna do a demo with 12 pieces, but if you can find 24 um, pieces of something, it could be Lego, it could be marbles, it could be buttons, it could be cereal, just something around your house, please bring 24 pieces because there's a problem we're gonna have your help with. 
To start, we're going to use 12 pieces. We're going to pretend that we have been hired by a brand new chocolate bar company. They want their chocolate bar to have 12 pieces, but they're trying to figure out the best way to package their chocolate bar. They know for sure they want it to be an array. They want equal rows and columns, but they want to know all the different ways that you could possibly package it before deciding on the first one. That's the video you saw, hopefully you saw from Sylvia with the equal groups off. Um, and how she was getting to make the equal groups. So it's kind of similar, right? We've got our 12 pieces, but this time we have to make sure that we're making an array. So you notice I was able to find uh, actually two arrays here. Watch what I've done here. So here I've got two groups of six equal 12. So we could package the candy bar this way, but you notice some of our candy bars kind of are going um, a different direction. If we just turn our array, now we've got six rows of two, which also equal 12. So we've just found two possible ways to make the chocolate bar. But I wonder if I can come up with another way. Let's see if I can come up with one or two other ways. Ready? So now that you've done this demonstration with me with a 12 piece chocolate bar, your challenge at home is to find 24 pieces of something and to see how many different ways can you package a chocolate bar. Okay. Maybe print off some grid paper, draw them out, record your arrays on them. And, um, and Cyril, which one do you think would be the best way to package it? And explain to us why we chose that array. We hope you have fun. That is awesome!